Meyer Terrell and welcome to this edition of the Paint and Pride News. Have you ever heard someone say, don't make it that kind of face or freeze like that? to go with the patriotic thing, red, white, and blue. Um, if you need examples of what to wear, you can wear something like Josh has on. You can go all out with, um, you can bring flags. Do whatever you want, but just make sure you show your red, white, and blue spirit for patriotic day. Thank you. Hi, I'm Leanna Osborne, link leader at Knox Central High School, and Tuesday for Spirit Week is career day, and we want to see what you want to be. Like a sports broadcaster, or a nurse practitioner, a physical therapist, psychiatrist, so Tuesday, don't forget to dress up because we want to know what you want to be. Wednesday is pajama, pajama day. Pajama day. <laughs> Make sure you, because everyone needs a lazy day and you have most to sleep in class. Just draw out of bed and come on to school, but make sure it's appropriate. Hi, my name's Jyla, and Thursday is tourist day, so you can travel around the world without leaving the halls of Knox Central. So you can wear, like, Hawaiian shirts, binoculars, or anything that you like. Hi, my name's Patrick, and Friday is Crazy Blue and Gold Day. Come dressed in your jersey, come in your wildest blue and gold, and come get your face painted and get hyped for the pep rally. It's game day. We want to support our football players, because we are KC. Woo! Yeah. Oh, my name is Mrs. Casey, and come to school every day. She's still right. Bethany, I'm a freshman, and come to school, go to school every day. Come to school, come to school, every, school day. every day. My name is Bradley Mills, and Jeff Kennedy is going to tell us more about the athletic program here at KCHS. Jeff Kennedy, I'm the athletic director and attendance of liaison. Uh, probably dealing with the kids and um, watching them come in as freshmen and grow and uh, developing into you know young men and women and uh, you know, deal with their future plans and uh, development of that. I think seven years. Oh yeah, we've uh, increased our uh, participation with our athletics. We've made, uh, we've added five different sports since I got here. Uh, so it's grown quite a bit and uh, still growing. Uh, I think seven years. And have you seen it grow and change since you've been here? Oh yeah, we've uh, increased our uh, participation with our athletics. We've made, uh, we've added five different sports since I got here. Uh, so it's grown quite a bit and uh, still growing. What sports have you added since being here? We've added bowling. <clears throat> We've added bowling boys and girls. We've added soccer boys and girls. We added archery. Football obviously is uh, one of the top ones. Uh, basketball, baseball. Uh, but soccer's, soccer's on the rise, so is archery. Uh, so. Those are kind of, you know, leading the, leading the, the charge. Probably tennis, to be honest with you. Um, there's a lot of tennis opportunities, especially on the NAIA level. That, but which we take quite a, we we send quite a few kids to college. Uh, we send 18 kids to college in athletics and all different sports. So um, 
right now I think our number is around 30, 31 student athletes that are participating right now at the next level uh, that graduated from Knox Central and played in one of our various sports. So pretty proud of that. Yeah, that was another one we had it. bass fishing. Um, we actually had a kid sign last year with Eastern for uh, bass fishing. Yeah, Shaw so was a bass fisherman at uh, Eastern. Did rather well there. I actually think it's hard. Well, it is hard, but anything worth its while it is hard. And I think the biggest thing that our students need to understand is you only got four years at Knox Central and you need to participate in other things than just coming to school and going home. Even if it's extracurricular clubs or, you know, if it's on the dance team or cheerleading or football, basketball, they need to, to get it. ROTC is a great, great program. Um, we have so many different things to offer at Knox Central. And what happens is most kids, they wait till like their senior year and say, oh, I wish I'd have done that. I wish I'd have done that. And I tell the freshmen every year, you come to freshmen, get involved in something. Um, you know, it, it, it teaches you so many lessons in life. It teaches you how to deal with pressure, deal with stress, get knocked down, get back up. I mean, there's so many life lessons that's learned on the court, on the field, on the diamonds. I mean, I... I don't have a negative word to say about athletics um, in a school setting. I mean, you know, it's, uh, I say it all the time, student athlete. It's two words, but it's they're together. And uh, there's a lot of benefits to being a student athlete at North Central uh, because, of, like I said, we have great programs, we have great coaching, and we have great support in our community, and uh, we're only getting better every year. So it's, it's something to get on board with, and... You know, if uh, you're an incoming freshman, we have everything to offer in, in athletics. If you don't like something, try something else. My name is Hannah. Take a look at this inside report. My name is Stephanie McCall. I'm a partner for mentor here at Knox Central High School. And in my time with our seniors, uh, we studied effective communication and conflict resolution. And our subject that um, we spoke about was how to address Mr. Trosper about prom ideas. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll take that into consideration. Thanks for your input. Yes, sir. Because it is their last bands and stuff that are going to be involved in before they go off and graduate. Thank you for your input, sir. Yes, sir. Well, thank you, Mr. Trosper, for your um, opinion, but mine's a little different from yours, okay. as you can see. I believe we should be able to decide what happens because we're the seniors. It's our only year, last year together, and we did spend together. Well, thank you for your opinion. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Trosper. I respect uh, your decision to hold it in the cafeteria, but I feel like as seniors that we should be able to come together and decide on where to have it since we are mature enough to have our own student council and things like that. Well, I appreciate that information. Mr. Uh, Mr. Trosper, I respect your opinion like everybody else, but I also feel like that uh, there should be like a committee involved to decide amongst the seniors that we should do. I appreciate your statement. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Mr. Crosper, you. for your input, but I believe that seniors should have their word on it and see what they think about it. Uh, I appreciate your statement. So, speaking in I statements, do you think you got your point across? to Mr. Trosper about prom and your opinion. Yes. yes, yes. Okay, I need two people to demonstrate effective communication. Mr. G, this is my first
course you're teaching at Knox Central, I teach sophomore English. Do you want me to say the full name? <laughs> my name is Mr. Glazov. Uh, this is my first year teaching at Knox Central. I'm teaching sophomore English. Come to school every day! Come to school every day. I'm Megan Dean, I'm 15, come to school every day. I'm in 11th grade, come to school every day. This is A, come to school every day. I'm Jabonta Turner, 9th grade, come to school every day. Hello guys, this is Cadet Staff Sergeant David Thomas. We, we need you guys to come to school so you can have knowledge. Knowledge makes power for the future. No, it's a host of Get your tickets now before it's too late. The drawing date is quickly approaching. The big day is September the 15th. You could win two Dollywood tickets, two NASCAR Speedway tickets, two meals at your choice of Crawdaddy's, Tucker's, Johnny Rocket, or Loco Borro. The value of the meals, plus everything else, $285. All this can be yours for winning tickets for only $3.00 or double your chance of winning by buying two tickets, only five dollars. You'll be all smiles when you hold the winning ticket. Get yours today. Tickets are available from any HOSA member at the high school. Let's present Ticket to Win. Today is the last day for this week. If you are interested in signing up for a club. Hello, I'm Pat Gleitzen from HOSA, that's Health Occupational Students of America. We're nursing students planning to be in the healthcare field. We go to competitions all over the country. Last year we went to Orlando. These are the pins I got on, these are from states all over the U.S. We get to learn and talk to new people and learn about the healthcare field. I'm Zach Mills and we're uh, here from the FFA for um, Rush Week. It's the uh, Future Farmers of America. The greenhouse, which we make plants, we do plants. Uh, the outside garden, which is Hilton Garden Club, and then we learn about farming. Just try to be here. Pretty good. It's called Aussie the Mind. There's a lot of different problems that you choose from, and then you have to find a solution to that problem by acting it out, building uh, building your strip, and building your crops like the ones we have over there. Facebook page has all the information and news going on in the high school. Go check it out today. Thank you guys for watching today's broadcast of the Panther Pride News. This is Devin for Panther Pride News.